So how do we take the inverse Laplace when you have repeated roots? So if I have this function, Vs equals Kn over S minus P to the N, Kn minus 1 over S minus P to the N minus 1, all the way to K1 over S minus P to the 1. To find each one of these Ks, Kn minus A, any one of them. So in this case, A is 0. In this case, A is 1. In this case, A is going to be whatever n is, n minus, well, that number has to be 2. So it's hard to tell there. But it's going to be 1 over k factorial. That's a factorial. My 1 over a factorial. times the derivative but not the first not the second the a derivative of the expression times s minus p to the n times vs so it sounds like i don't know too complicated of a problem but it's not really is i just want to give you the math behind it so let's take this example well, you know you can factor an S out of that. So if you factor an S out, what do we have? S times S squared plus 12S plus 36. And if we factor that one one more time, that's 2 over S times S plus 6 squared. So you can see we have a repeated root at S plus 6. So when you rewrite this one using partial fraction, this is going to be, I don't know, k1 over s plus 6 squared plus k2 over, each time subtract 1 from that power, s plus 6 to the 1. Then you do k3 over s plus 6 to the 0, which is a 1. So you don't put that one. We also have the S here. So that's K3 over S. And how do we find what K1, K2, and K3? Because once you have them, you're done. And the way you find that, by using this one here, this equation I just put up there. So let's begin with k1 so this is 1 here so k1 is going to be here's my k1 is sitting on top of s plus 2 squared so I'll come back here, I'll leave a space here. So I'm going to multiply Vs by S plus 6, not 2, squared, times Vs. Well, Vs is right here. 2S, S plus 6 squared, as S equals negative 6. Now, K is 1. So what's 1 over 1 factorial? So if 1 factorial is 1, this one cancels that. So K1 is going to be the value of 2 over s as s equals negative 6. As s equals negative 6, what are we going to have? That's negative 1 third. Let's find k2. What's k2? k2 is going to be This actually is actually 0 factorial here. So 1 over, 
that's a zero factorial which is a one one over one factorial times the derivative the derivative of s plus 6. Notice k2 is sitting on top of s plus 6. So s plus 6 squared times 2 over s plus 6. as s equals negative 6. We know this one cancels that, so we need to take the derivative of that, 1 over 1 factorial, which is 1, dds, the derivative of this, of 2 over s. Well, that's 2 to the s minus 1, so the derivative of that negative 2 over s squared. as s equals negative 6, and that'll give me negative 2 over 36, which is negative 118. And what about s3? I mean k3, not s3. Where's my eraser here? k3, that's not a repeated root. That's from the previous video. So k3 is going to equal to what? You multiply s times vs, because it's sitting on top of s, the value of that as s equals to 0. So that's going to be 2 over s plus 6 squared as s equals to 0. And again, we do the math for that one, and that gives me plus 1 18th. Let me move it up there. So going back to this, I can write Vs is equal to K1. K1 is what? Uh, I think it's 1. What is it? K1. It's negative 1 third times 1 over S plus 6 squared plus k2. What's k2? k2 is negative 118 times 1 over s plus 6 plus k3, which is 1 over 18 times 1 over s. So what is vt? It's the inverse Laplace. So I can factor these numbers, negative 1 third the inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 6 squared minus 1 over 18, the inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 6 plus 1 18, the inverse Laplace of 1 over s. That's negative 13. I mean negative one third, not thirteen. So what's the inverse Laplace of this? That's t e to the minus six t. This is minus one eighteen. What's the inverse Laplace of one over s plus six? E to the minus six t plus this will be one eighteen. And again, for all of these, we're just going to write u sub t at the end instead of putting u sub t for each one separate. u sub t, u sub t, u sub t. We'll just put u sub t at the end. And that's what f of t will be. Let me try another one. <clears throat> 